What's going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Wizland with Wiz. Happy to be with you guys today. It is officially Monday. I just got back from Monterrey yesterday. And honestly, it was a great experience. I went to Monterrey with my girlfriend for 15, a family 15. Uh, she had one of her cousins turning 15, so they did a big party for her. So it was an amazing experience. It was my first time going to Mexico. And honestly, I wanna go back as soon as possible just because I feel that there's so much more to do out there. Regardless to say, guys, we're back. It is Monday, back on this grind, which is gym, business, eight to five, and whatever else that the world offers, right? Uh, and I wanted to share this with you, man, because I do, I do feel that if we get caught up with this thought that we gotta grind, 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 the hustle culture, it has become very, I want to say very much popular on social media because of guys like Gary Vaynerchuk. I've always been a supporter of Gary Vee. I found his content back in 2015, but up to this point, I really don't follow him in that sense uh, because for the most part, his message is very consistent, which is work, which is you have uh, equal opportunity, which is I'm working from early morning to late night, like I'm doing all this shit. And I get it, it's fine. But it's just not something that is what I want. I don't want that, right? And this is where I wanna go with this because we, as a society, uh, we put people on a pedestal. Uh, we see that certain people have made it within this financial sense or they, we're, they're, they're in positions that we wanna be one day at. And we glorify every single move that they make. We, if they do something, we, we support it. If they say something, we agree with it. And we don't allow ourselves to think for a, for a second. And that's what you should stop doing. And that's what I've stopped doing. We as humans have, are not perfect. We, we have ideas, we put things out there. But to be honest with you guys, you have to understand that not every single thing that someone is saying and sharing is gonna apply to your life. And that's why when I share stuff, when I share thoughts, when I share things that I'm going through and things that I've done and, or things that I'm planning on doing, I don't intend for you to just copy what I'm trying to do because I'm not giving you a recipe. I'm sharing you the insight of how things have developed within my life or the things that I'm going through. So you can kind of get an idea of what you might go through. But will it be like that? 90% of the time it won't. It would just be something that maybe if something is a bit similar, you have some context on how to handle that situation. And that's how I've learned to listen to content. I always listen to content with an open mind, but do not copy every single thing that that person is doing or saying or all of these things because for the most part they're sharing things that they already did or they it's already been done so in order for us or in order for you to get something different or a different uh result or a result that be that might be favorable for you you have to do things a little bit different and, and that's my thing you know it's like nowadays there's so much content out there about self-development. There's so much content about how you can make a lot of money online and all these things. But to be honest with you guys, these are things that I've learned from my own perspective and things that I've listened to only a selected amount of people because I wanted to show, I want to share this thought with you. You have to learn how to think. You have to learn how to dissect things. You have to learn that not everyone online has a lot of money even if they're portraying to have a lot of money. There's so many ways to go around the aspect of kind of being looked at as someone that has money. You can rent things, you can uh, put things on credit. You can do all these different things, right? And if you haven't been exposed to people that really have businesses within the social media world, maybe it's time for you to stop consuming content. It's, ta it's time for you to actually start searching with intention people that actually are real businessmen and people that have allowed themselves and put themselves out there with a risk of judgment. 
because not everyone online is try is trying to get the best for you. They're trying to get the best for themselves. Not everyone online with a big following means uh, have the best intentions for yourself. There's people that have that have fucked themselves over because eventually they get put on blast because they for one scam their own followers or they're trying to portray businesses that are not even real and they eventually disappear from the internet world so for you and for me we have to be more aware of our thoughts our energy and what we put in those thoughts and energy tours i've only have a, a selected amount of people i listen to nowadays as i am older when i was younger when back in 2015 i just wanted to get better become better become more articulate learn more uh see how i can actually use some of these techniques that people were sharing online to make more money and yeah some things work out for me but others didn't and that's because i wasn't smart enough to stop and really think before even or not only think but analyze the situation analyze what this person that was giving me the this thing to do where were they coming from for example, if you're in the beginning stages of who you want to be, me being who I am, I'm trying to share with you. If I was selling you a course, or I was telling you go buy this, or, or I'm an ex, no. Would it make sense for you to buy my course if I'm also starting off? It wouldn't. Because I'm trying to make money out of you by you paying on that course but i don't have nothing to really to share you know like i don't have no real business and if i was talking about business right now and just giving you information that i learned from someone else without me really really being like applying it in my real life all i'm doing to you is scamming you but is that my fault would that be my fault or would it be your fault and to be honest with you that's where I want you to understand. If if I'm creating this content, it's not for you to copy everything I'm saying. It's not for me to sell you a product. It's not for me to like make you uh, wealthy overnight. It's just for me to share the process. And that's why I say anyone can do this because if you're in the beginning, somebody behind you is gonna learn this from you. That you first, you have to take the initiative to put yourself out there and that's for everything. You want to start a business you have to take the initiative to research what industry you want to create your businesses what what is going to be the name of your fucking business what are you going to sell what is the demand on, on what you're trying to sell what are the numbers what are the metrics on that are you going to be able to make money out of this or are you going to pay like spend more money in creating the product than actually like initiating yourselves you know so it's all these different things that you have to look into and it takes time I could not even be talking about this when I was 22, uh, 22 years old, 23 years old. I couldn't. Now in my 30s, I feel a little bit more confident about who I am, the things that I can share, the things that I can do, uh, what I have to offer for you guys. So you have to be okay with that. Not everybody's going to get there when they're 21. Not everyone's going to get there when they're even 30. Some people get there 40, 50. It does not really matter. I understand that the journey that you are in it's unique to who you are. It's unique to the things you've done. It's, it's unique to the things you want to do with your life. It's not, not everyone's situation is the same. So with today's content, with today's episode, I want you to think about what you're consuming and what you're doing with your life, with your time, because a lot of us think we're very productive, think that we're doing the things that we need to do. But Honestly, when you really think about it, we will put a timer. And this, I got this concept from uh, Alex Ramosi. He was uh, in a podcast and he was saying that he actually put a timer to kind of time himself how, how, how much productive work he was doing without being interrupted. And if you can do that as two, you can see like the reality of the amount of time that we, we, put, we put in. For example, I started a timer uh, a week ago where I was starting to practice tattooing. So I have this thing that I want to like practice tattooing for a hundred hours before I even try to draw on someone else's skin or on my skin. And I'm doing about an hour or two at each day. But literally last week I started a timer. It was 12 minutes in when 
I was asked to do something by a family member. So I have to stop my timer, go help, and then come back to the to doing that. Then I do it. I, I started the timer again. It took me about 30 minutes before I stopped. I went to the restroom and did something else. Then I came back. So if you take a look, I had about five to six stops before I even was able to complete one hour. And honestly, that's something that if we don't track, we're just tricking ourselves on how much productive work we're doing. And all that means is that it is gonna take us a little bit longer to get to the destination of what you're doing or trying to be. So yeah, guys, I mean, today's, today's episode was more so about us understanding that we have to learn how to think for ourselves and not allow any social media personality change, adjust, or even adopt ideas from social media that do not apply to us. Because somebody that's a billion dollars, uh, like like somebody that has a million dollars in their bank account and you only have one dollar, can they really be relatable to you? They might, because that's something that you want to aspire to, but that content or that person is not going to be able to take you out of where you at if you're just at the beginning of your of your stage of trying to become better. And that's why I'm trying to share my beginning stages of me really intentionally trying to do things because I'm like, man, like sometimes I do wish I can relate to someone else or I can look into someone else's life that is starting like me. And that's why I have kind of like uh, subscribe to certain people that are around my same level with when it comes to knowledge and things like that because you sometimes you need some people around your same level to see where they at so you can kind of compare where if you're moving along with them or if you're staying behind and if you're staying behind why are you staying behind and what adjustments do you need to make for your own life in order for you to continue on that path uh, of becoming better uh, for yourself and for the people that that are around you you know but but yeah guys i hope honestly i'm about to work out i'm like i haven't been drinking this and i already feeling it so i'm about to go do an arm day i hope you have an amazing week if you're watching this go ahead subscribe like the video share it um honestly i see that the algorithm slowly is um sharing the content the first video was about nine views second 12 the other one, the other day was 20 something. This one, the past one was 30, 32. So slowly it's, it's, it's pushing it out. So if you're new here, guys, I appreciate you for watching the entire video, man. I'm just building a community of men. And if you're a woman, welcome as well, but men that want to become better. Um, and no, I'm not a misogynist. I have a girlfriend, I have a single mom, I love women. Uh, so, but this is more so for young men. How, like, how can we become better as men for our society, for for the people around us? And, and honestly, that's what I want to create with this um, with this channel. Men that are responsible for their actions and that are trying to do the best they can to become better, not only for them but also for the people around them. Because if we have a good society, man, that shit spreads out like wildfire and we become I, I, we become better than we were you know so yeah guys i'll see you in the next one take care peace